Shalom la bakhayayim shal yashala Peace to the elect of the nation of Israel Wa kahalayim la alahayna wa yahawa ba Hashem Yahweh shai ba Hashem rechakudash All praises to our power Yahweh Hashem Yahawashai, which Yahweh is the true almighty powerful name of the Heavenly Father, who the world only calls God, and his only begotten son's name is Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Bahashem mean in the name of meaning spirit, Kodash is holy, which I uttered in the Paleo Hebrew, which is the language that has been turned up to the Hebrew Israelites, which consists of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You are the Lord's chosen people, and you are the Israelites. And of course, since our seed has been scattered amongst the four corners of the earth as a curse, all right, which is written here in the book of Deuteronomy and all other places in the scriptures, all right, um, due to our disobedience from not following the law, statutes, and commandments, we have been scattered. And so our, some of our people may look like other nations, but by the way of the fathers, all right, if their spirit bear witness with our spirit, they are the children of the power, all right. If you can receive it, of course, I want to uh, give double honors to the elders and apostles that great millstone, Shinya Kabad, La Shalayachim Nawa, was a Konyam Shalayashala, right? Which uh, that's double honor to our apostles. Wa means and, Zakonyam is uh, elders, a great millstone, who were well. And of course, uh, Shalawan wa Chasad. La Bachayar Yom Shal Yashala. Peace and mercy to the election of the nation of Israel. Shemya Mafa, my name is Mafa. My young great millstone play tables camp located here. Ba Ayar, which is uh, the city. Or Baha Ayar, Philadelphia. Ba Baba in Babylon. They're coming again with another lesson to the Chakwadash. Ba Maf in truth. Alright, or of truth. Alright, so we have here. A wee article which I've seen it says here inside horrors of migrants detention or migrant detention centers so you have it here horrors okay let's uh, go into that term the new or I thought which means now it says an intense feeling of fear shock in this or disgust a thing causing a feeling of fear, shock, or disgust. You have here in a sentence use photographs showed the horror of uh, the tragedy, which in here we have horror and tragedy written here are actually shown displayed in these images, which are some of the various conditions that migrants, which you have the migrants, they of course are primarily of the northern kingdom which are so-called latino tribes um mainly from issachar and Zab zabulon okay which uh issachar and is of course the so-called mexicans and you have um zebulon which are i believe that's guatemalan so panamanians all right um you have it a lot of those uh you know latin tribes in particular try to enter the United States, um, so called illegally, all right, uh, due to immigration laws. Okay, you have to go do a form of immigration processing and such. Now, of course, here you have it where there's various forms of unrighteous decrees because, first of all, this land was stolen by, of course, uh, the Edomites. Okay, the Edomites, Esau, Edom. All right, which those are the people whom the earth is given on the hand of, which they are the wicked. Okay, as Job 9 and 24 says, um, they, of course, oppress um, these people and they look at them, of course, with a great disgust. And that goes to all tribes, the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. Right now, currently, we're speaking of these uh, particular tribes. All right, Latino tribes. All right, so-called. All right. It says this week the Department of Homeland Security, which is DHS, watchdog released two reports detailing the dangerous and concerning treatment of migrants in immigration detention spaces. It says details at Custom Border Protection 
facility in El Paso, Texas, more than 150 migrants were held in a cell meant for just 35 people. And in an immigration customs enforcement ICE facility in New Jersey, a noose hung in a detainee cell. Kitchens were stocked with expired food and inadequate medical care was provided. Right, which this um, brings up a, a few of my Pequodium or precepts, which uh, the first one I'm, I'm going to bring up is going to be in the book of Isaiah, chapter 42 and 22, which it reads here, or Korawa, it read, But this is a people robbed and spoiled. They are all of them snared in holes, right? Which a snare, you know, is obviously a trap. Okay, snare going back, Baha Barth in the Hebrew, um, the bar or word, all right, is uh, going to be for snare. Give me a wee moment, so I don't know off the top of my head. Snare is pachach, or pachach, all right, which uh, pachach, uh, it means here in the definition, just to ensnare a trap, okay, meaning that's like one who uh, is a, a cunning hunter, such as uh, Esau, okay, just to give you some background information, this is going to be the book of, uh, I believe it's Genesis chapter 25. Okay, the 25th chapter, or Bara Ashiath, which is mean in the headings or in the beginnings. Alright. It says here. It says here that. Genesis chapter 25 and 23, it says, And the Lord said unto, or it says actually, I could start at Genesis 25 and 22. It says, And the children struggled together, and she said, Within her, and she said, If it be so, why am I thus? So she went and required, inquired of the Lord, Yahweh. It says, And Yahweh said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb. And this is Rebecca, all right, whom is the wife, all right, of Isaac. She, of course, had twins, okay, and this, of course, were two different nations that came out, all right. It says, and the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two matter people shall be separated from thy bows. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people, and the elder shall serve the younger. And this is speaking of, obviously, the, the, the nation of Israel, consists of so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans. They are the people, are the ones that are stronger than um, you have it, the other people, all right? Which, that's basically all other races, okay? If you can receive it, okay? You have it where uh, spiritually, mentally, and um, physically, they are the strongest people on the earth. And that's, I mean, scientifically, it's proven, okay? What if you can receive it? It reads on and says that, uh, and the elder shall serve, it says, and the elder shall serve the younger. And, of course, you have it that the elder... All right, being what the elder who came out first was uh, Esau shall serve the younger, which is uh, you have it, uh, Esau would serve the younger, which would be Jacob, which uh, is the nation of Israel, which we know who Esau is. Okay, if you don't know Esau, you gotta, of course, do some, some, some research in the videos, okay, because we're under a current YouTube persecution of censorship, so. That we are, uh, you know, being wise with our words and such. But it's easily can be told who is Esau Edom. Okay. It's easy. All right. Um, it goes on. It says, yeah, it had a time, of course, when the Dark Ages. Okay. They had, of course, um, you know, what whom they call um, so-called or call, so-called Caucasians. They were driven out into the Caucasus Mountains. Okay. And you have it where d people of dark skin, all right, which are the Israelites, they ruled, all right, during them times in, in Europe and such, all right. 
you know you can go into the moors and and other things and such all right so but anyway just to did this to skip it says in the first came out red like a hairy garment which this is a trait of the edomites uh being what red all right having the lack of pigmentation okay now it's a spirit you have to be spiritual to understand because not everyone is an edomite or not anyone that look appears to be having a lack in it, lack of melanin in their skin all right not all of them are edomites you have to judge by the spirit because since we've been scattered amongst all nations some of our people may look like the rest of the heathen okay so going on just to in some of our latino tribes look like heathen okay but it says in the first came out red all over like a hairy garment and they call his name esau which is that's ishashua in the hebrew which means waste away is he okay all right Aisha or ishashua all right which means waste his weight is he okay because he been he lost his pigmentation all right so i just want to go to the point which the point is being about him is that one of his traits is that he's what verse 27 genesis 25 and 27 the boys grew and esau was a cunning hunter a man of the field and jacob was a plain man dwelling in tents all right so you had the so-called negroes latino and the americans they're plain men dwelling in tents all right they were spiritual okay we are spiritual people you have esau who's a cunning hunter a man of the field okay so you have it where cunning hunter is one as you die which means to know all right he knows through what experience that's one of his blessings which he's also the sword of the earth all right which you read that in the book of the, uh you know, the book of uh the psalms all right psalms uh let me see if that's 17 and 13 or something like that psalm 17 and 13 it says arise O Yahweh, and disappoint him cast him down deliver my soul from the wicked so that there's a people upon the earth which are actually called the wicked all right which uh that's esau edom okay which is thy sword okay esau is esau edom is the wicked all right you know you go to you know just to give you uh you know more so a lot of the are new to the knowledge okay you have to you know, through thy precepts you get understanding so you go into it there's an actual wicked uh on the planet earth who are ruling in rulership and they are oppressing these people trapping them and snare them in holes as what the point is i'm bringing out in this particular lesson okay this is uh the book of malachi chapter one and and two it says here i actually start in one one and one it says malachi the burden of the word, the word of Yahweh to Yashala Israel, which mean Yashala mean he the prince of power, or he prince of God, or which were sons of the power. All right. It says, "I have loved you," said Yahweh. Yet you say that wherein, why? It says, "Wherein hast thou?" It says, "Wherein hast thou loved us?" And that's what our people, of course. Um, you know they, they they say to themselves okay you know why they in the condition they are which you know lord willing i'll bring out a little bit of application on that but just to, for the sake of time i'm gonna go on it says was not esau yaquab's brother said the lord yahweh yet i have loved jacob and i hated esau and lay his mountains in his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness i right, said so it says we're in edom said we are impoverished but we were built all right and built and return and and build the desolate places or it says and we will return and build the desolate places which you know after of course a time of being in captivity under the israelites you had the edomites okay um you know out of the what you know uh the time of the renaissance they came of course, of course into rulership and took over of course uh jake all right so-called negroes latinos and they are actually yes i mean you have it we're israelites okay in general all right mainly uh you have it uh you had mainly uh of the the southern kingdom guys what they call jews all right ruling in europe and such okay
But anyway, going on just to, you know, for the sake of time, it says, Thus said Yahweh of hosts, they shall build and I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wicked of the of wickedness. Alright? And the people whom Yahweh hath indignation forever. So you have the, the, the actual people that are called the wicked, alright, the border of wickedness. These are the Edomites, okay? Because wherever they go, you have it where they have nothing but wickedness is multiplying seedly in the earth. All right. The, the, you know, those who were the, the um, took upon the heritage of the Greeks. All right. Conquered the Japhites. All right. So-called Polynesians and so-called, um, you know, Etruscans, you know, and uh, then took, driven them out to the Pacific Islands. And then, of course, uh, took their names upon themselves. All right. Such as Alexander the Great. All right. Um, of course, uh, the Romans. All right, these were Edomites. Okay, if you can receive it, you'll know who the actually these people actually were. All right. <laughs> um, <laughs> it says territory, a boundary. So I mean, of course, if the whole world is ruled by the wicked, everywhere is gonna be, of course, under gross darkness and polluted. All right. So you know, just to make the point, is that. The wicked are ruling, and they are the Edomites, and their blessing is the sword. They are the Yahab Hashem Yahshua's Kharab, all right, which is sword in Hebrew. Okay, Esau is a cunning hunter, so he's the one that's trapping. Uh, you have it; these Israelites, all right, being of the northern kingdom, all right, of the tribes of of um, you know, primarily. Of Issachar, so-called Mexicans, and and, and and Zebulon, all right. You know these Hondurans, Ecuador, Ecuadorians, and such. You know, trying to come to the country to pursue a future, all right, in Babylon, which is America. Okay. Now going on, it says, but this is a people robbed and spoiled. Okay, they are. They are all of them snared in holes. And they are hid in prison houses, and they are for a prey, and none delivereth for a spoil, and none said restore. And you have it where most of the people uh, in this world, especially pro-Trump supporters, um, they uh, they dislike. All right, the Edomites obviously they hate Jacob, they hate Israelite. All right, they hate Latin tribes. Okay. So these people are hit, and look what they're going through. Okay, look at, of course, all of their book bags in which they, of course, uh, you know, they go on these long journeys to get to America. And this stuff is all discarded. Okay, and they're under these poor conditions. Okay, it says here um, that at the border patrol station in El Paso, the inspector, or El Paso, the general inspector found that majority of immigrants in detention there had been held longer than 17 72 hour limit all right so you do the math that's over at least what three days what's that it's 24 is hours is one day 48 you know is another day and then you do another one all right <laughs> so and etc etc so and going on it says you know i'm bad at math lock you it says on May 8th, the station had 900 migrants in its custody, despite the facility's official maximum capacity of 125 uh, people. So, I mean, if you have 900, that's a, that's already, that should be a violation, you know, in which the whole immigration system is, is backed up anyway and such, you know, almost near over, almost about a million in backlog cases and stuff when you do the research. Alright, so you have these various facilities, which they're being held within, okay, they're over, over, well over capacity, 125, just do that math, you know, 125, you know, at least, what, shoot, if I do that math, man, let me see, I want to try to do the math, actually, at this time, let's see, just, uh, let me see, 125, where you going? I'm on, I'm doing it actually on my phone. 
My full one. 125 times, I'm going to give it roughly 7. Times 7 is 185. So they saying 900. So it's at least 7 times over. All right. With 7 is a complete number of uh, of, over, of over capacity. All right. So it says border patrol agents told us some of the detainees had been held in standing room only conditions for days and weeks. The report said states. All right, let's go to some of these curses. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and 25 and starting at 15. All right, which these curses befall the nation of Israel, so-called Negro Latino Native Americans. All right. It says here, but it it says this it says here, but it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the voice of Yahweh thy power to observe and to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Alright, so you have these various curses which the Lord Yahweh by Shemiel Shai placed upon the nation of Israel, which these are what? A sign to be able to di distinguish. Who actually are the Israelites, all right, the Lord's people upon the earth, okay? So we know who the Israelites, based on telling, all right, or applying these various curses, okay? It says in the scriptures that they shall be for a uh, sign, okay? I, I believe it says something like whether, wherever she, these shall go or something of that. I can see if I can find the actual particular scripture. All right. Um, in the in the scriptures here, it's actually in this chapter, off the top. It ain't uh, clicking, but you know, due to Rakhak uh, I will find it. It shall be a sign. You know, while I actually find it, shoot. Slocky, of course, were, uh. not seeing it at the time I may have to actually go into my physical scriptures because it's better for me in, in the spirit to, to actually find it but um but yeah you know the, the curses the, you know they are um you know on the you know the Israelites and definitely the uh the, the you know the, the Latinos are actual Israelites okay they're they're part of the 12 tribes of Israel. Okay, and this is why they are in the condition, the lowest state in which, you know, you can currently see them in. All right, being snared and in holes and such, you know. All right, so let me see what I got. Mm. Slack here for right now. I'm gonna just have to look it up physically on this computer. B for a sign. And this is why we gotta go repeatedly in the scriptures, you know, because, you know, uh. Yeah, this is uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 46. It says here, it says. Here, right, uh, right in Deuteronomy twenty-eight forty-five, it says, "Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed," which is mean destruction, destruction, right? Because thou has hearkened not unto the voice of Yahweh thy power, and to keep his commandments and statute which he commanded thee, and they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder, and upon thy seed forever. So you know, as I explained, it's going to be for what. They shall be upon you for a sign, all right? 
which that's uh, a wath in the Hebrew. Okay, a wath, which is a distinguishing mark. All right, simple as that. All right, it's a sign. So you can tell who the Israelites are on because they have this distinguishing mark, which is these various curses. All right, some of the curses. All right, as it says here, you know, um, you know, cursed thou shall be in the city. All right, um, you know, cursed thou be uh, in the field. You know, field is the world. Okay. Uh, you know, you have it where, um, you know, uh, you have various curses that speaks of, like here, it says here, uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 25, the Lord, Yahweh, which the Lord did this to his people, shall cause thee to be smitten before thine enemies. All right, to be smitten means to be what? To be killed. All right, smitten. Let me see if we go back to the Hebrew word. It got here, it got nagap. All right, it's smitten. All right, strike. All right. You know, it should be similar to Harag, which, you know, is basically to be killed and such. All right. It says, uh, thou shalt go out one way against them and flee seven ways before them. And thou shalt be removed into all ki the kingdoms of the earth. All right. You know, this happened in 70 AD, you know, had us, you know, flee all the different ways. And it's still happening here today, you know, as you can see. All right, all the kingdoms. Let's see what else we got. Remove. All right, you got remove. Right here, they actually have under remove, they have the Hebrew word, which is Za'iwa. Za'iwa, which it means here, a horror, a trembling. Okay? So you're going to be in a horror, a trembling, all right, in all the kingdoms where you've been. You know, your your life is basically in a in a hanging in the balance and such. You know. You know you shall be called become astonishment in Deuteronomy twenty eight and thirty seven. Thou shall be astonishment a proverb and a byword, all right, among all nations whether thou shall lead thee, all right. It says that, that thou shall carry much seed into the field and thou shall carry it in very little, for the locust shall consume it. All right, you have it where, you know, we do work, you know, barely are, are even uh, profiting. All right, we put in a bag with holes, okay? That's because we're being oppressed, all right? By word, all right? You know, obviously, these various by words, they're sharp words, all right, are taunt. You know, being calling somebody a, a Mexican is actually a, a actual derogatory term. You know, calling them a, a Latino is derogatory, all right? You know, because... These ain't actual proper titles for the actual nation. These are nothing but bywords, taunts to us. Okay, calling somebody a, a Negro, you know, not call them a, a Judite or, or from the tribe of Yehawada. All right, these are are the tribes of uh, Zebulon. You know, these are these are these are taunts. You know, because we are a royal people. Okay, and our oppressor doesn't even want us to know, of course, uh, who we are. All right, because they want us to stay within slavery underneath them. Ultimately, they don't want the rulership of Yahweh Shai. All right, Yahweh Shai, who the world in called Jesus Christ is coming back to, for set everything back into order. All right, so anyway, let me uh, go back to the article and bring out more scriptures, a little bit, wee bit more. It says, Border Patrol Agency told some of the detainees that have been held in standing room condition for at least weeks right says we observed the staff discarding of pro detainee property uh such as back case backpacks and suitcases handbags and nearly in the dump near nearby dumpster it says border personnel told us that the items might be wet have bugs and be muddy and therefore they presented a biohazard also we observed standing t on sta he observed detainees standing on toilets in cells to make room to gain breathing space all right so they're basically packed up literally like sardines okay as you can see this is similar to who we were what uh you know uh put on slave sh ships basically you know which that's written in the book of deuteronomy 28 chapter all right you know you read it here deuteronomy 28 and 68 and the lord shall bring thee into egypt again which this america is new egypt the place of our captivity all right, it was the Israelites who were in captivity there who build up, obviously, these various, uh, who, who build up, um, also, 
the new Egypt, which is America, all right? And you have it where you can even easily prove that these Israelites are the Lord's chosen people because here in the Americas, we have various uh, forms in Central America of these uh, pyramids and such, which the Northern tree Kingdom tribes, some such as the uh, um, tribes of, uh, what is it, like, uh, I believe you're going to like, like, you know, like the, Az the Aztecs and stuff, which um, I have to go and check if Aztec, I think that you go back to it's it's a car if I'm not mistaken. And then you got like, uh, you know, certain things in uh, Peru and, you know, uh, you go into like the Incas and stuff, you know. So, you know, you go into some of the different Latin tribes, you know, Zebulon and such. All right. You know, build up these 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 different um, these different uh things okay and built and, and you know that's what make them israelites okay how would they have that uh, built that knowledge okay because they were those people that came over all right from uh, of course the syrian captivity when you read the, the obviously the history in the book of uh, second edgers the 13th chapter in the apocrypha also i believe it's uh you know which uh, uh it's, i believe it's also in the, in the history also within uh you can read in uh I think kings, but I you have to go back into it. Let's lock it. It says here, and thou shalt see it no more again. All right, and you know, you know this is you know just to prove that this is the new Egypt. You know you can read of course like uh, book of Revelation chapter eleven. You know in eight, Revelation eleven and eight. It says, and their dead body shall lie in the street of a great city, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. Which our people are spiritually dead. They wandered out of the way of understanding. So they be in the congregation of the dead. Alright. Where also our Lord was crucified. Lord was put. Obviously crossed out. You know here in this. Uh, obviously this place. They of course cross out the, the, the true image of the Lord. Being a dark skinned man. You know uh, from the tribe of Judah. You know et cetera, et cetera. You know uh, the law statute commandments. They of course don't upheld. Everything that the Lord, Lord stand for. They are here. And New Egypt, which is America, all right, are against, all right. It says here, um, you know, and, and you know, you know, we being here, you know, we made this place prosper and flourish, all right. Thus, you know, especially being the tribe of Issachar, you know, which means he is higher than the Hebrew, all right, which is Yashashkar, Yashashkar, all right, uh. You know, they, it's in their nomen omen, you know, that they are uh, workers, all right, hard workers, all right, and we built up Egypt, all right, the old Egypt, and we made the new Egypt, you know, very, obviously, uh, uh, blessed, all right, being America, all right, real quick, just to get some history, it says here that Exodus chapter 1 and 7 it says here, and the children of Israel were fruitful, increase abundantly, and multiply, and wax exceedingly mighty, and the land was filled with them. All right. So you know we built up, obviously, you know old Egypt, and since we're in new Egypt, we built this up off of our, our labor, labor. Okay, both northern and southern kingdom tribes. All right. Just so that you you know have just so that you know. Okay, we were those Israelites being ruled over by another dark-skinned race, which is the Hamites, all right, or Matzaz of Matzazarium, one of the sons of Ham, all right, which is Matzazarium, or, or Egypt, you have here, just read Egypt, but that's Matzazarium, one of the sons of Ham, which that, of course, is so-called Egyptians, okay? They were a dark race, which were different from them. You can, of course, read, like, the book of, what's that, Exodus 11, all right? And seven, if I'm not mistaken. All right. And we built this place up. We built that place up too. And it's on this place is on its end. Okay. We of course, you know, are in what straits here. All right. So you got these different. You know, you see this. Look at all these women. You know. But look at all the stuff. During the inspection of New Jersey, which is near me, uh, uh, four New Jersey ice det or 
Immigration Custom Enforcement Detention Centers, the IG observed spoiled moldy expired food kitchens at the facility at Essex. The conditions were so bad that the kitchen manager was fired during the inspection. So these are horrid uh, conditions. It says one of the facility strip search migrants, placing them in the disciplinary segregation away from other migrants. So they put them literally in, into uh, solitary confinement, which that leads you what to being literally batshit crazy. All right, excuse my language. All right, because it solitary confinement leaves you to you know basically you know allow demons to mess with you in your mind, being by yourself. You know, if you especially if you don't got your how about shy with you. All right, if you don't got your how about shy, you're gonna be demons gonna be bothering you. You know, so it says another did not allow migrants in disciplinary segregation to take showers or to have any regulation time is a violation of ICE policy. So you see it that they are doing all these various forms of oppression and in, 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 in ways of cruelty to the Israelites. Okay. It says there are other sanitation and health issues on, at one center. A noose was found in one of the cells. You know, you're going to get hung. You know, you're going to get killed. All right. You see here. You know, the packages of food, food and such. All right, so, you know, this is, this is, this just goes and show you, you know, the conditions which the Israelites got to go through. All right. And the Lord bringing down judgment on some of them, most of them being wicked women. All right. And wicked Israelites in general. All right. This is uh, the book of Isaiah chapter 57 and 1. It says, the righteous being the Israelites perish and no man layeth at the heart. Nobody neighbor is caring about what these, uh, you know, Latin tribes are going through. You know, for the most part, most people, you know, say this is great. America is being made great again by, of course, the increase of the, um, the increased enforcement of the immigration laws being put in to play. OK, being that, you know, we're going to detain these um, these uh, migrants, you know. Uh, you know, we're going to send them back, but really they, you know, they're doing a lot of things. They're really shipping a lot of these, uh, migrants into, um, you say sanctuary cities and really they're just going to get judgment, you know, during the race wars. Okay. Which that's biblical prophecy. But anyway, that's another lesson for another time. It says here and merciful men are taken away. It says none considering that the righteous is taken from the evil to come. So if you die, you know, obviously it's, you know, because the Lord obviously sanctions death. The issues of death, okay, are sanctioned by the Lord, Yahweh, all right? And that's also me that for you to, you won't have to deal with the punishment, you know, as we got the, the Jacob trouble, all right? And it's full fruition, time of distress, Yaiqab Tazerah, uh, that has never been seen before since the earth has been. All right, you'll be in the spirit world, okay? Which this is the book of Job, you know. You, you don't go to hell when you die, all right, just so that you know. All right, this is the book of Ayyawab, chapter 3, or Job, which means persecuted. All right, uh, chapter 3, and starting at. I'm going to start at I'm going to start at verse uh, 11 It says here Job or Ayawab chapter 3 and 11 says why died I Not from the womb Why did I not give up The ghosts when I came out Of, my, of the belly Why did I Did the knees prevent me Or why did the breast that I should suck for no should I have lain still and be quiet. I should have slept. You know, rest, going dying is basically as sleep, you know, because you're gonna rise again, okay? Because judgment is played out on the earth. You know, you of course come back every three and fourth generation, okay? Um, going in, let's read, read. That's another lesson for another time. Anyway, it says here, then I shall be at rest with kings and counselors of the earth, which have. Built the desolate places of, for themselves, or with the princes that had gold, 
or filled their houses with silver, or as a hidden untimely birth I had not been as infants which never saw the light. There the wicked cease from tr from troubling. All right, there the wicked cease from troubling. So the wicked, as you know, are the Edomites, and there the weary be at rest. All right, which the weary would be the Israelites. Okay. It says, and th there the prisoners rest together. And it says they hear not the voice of their oppressor. Who's the oppressor? The Edomites. They're oppressing the the Israelites. Okay, they have them as a prey. All right, they're snared in holes. It says, the small and the great are there, and the servant is free from his master. Who the servant? All right. And who's the master? The servants are, of course, what? You got being, the Israelites being in captivity, we are at what? We're serv serving slavery right now. The master being, of course, these damn Edomites, which they, of course, are ruling over us. All right. This is uh, the book of Ecclesiastes, or Ecclesiastes chapter 10. And uh, starting at the verse um, 5, it says here, There is an evil which I have seen under the sun, which under the sun is the earth, as an error which proceedeth from the ruler. Folly is set in great dignity, and the rich, meaning the Israelites, sit in a low place. I have seen servants, all right, which servants is Ibadium. All right, Baha Barya. All right, you got Ra'a Yathya. All right, which you know the root being Ra'a, which means to see. All right, you have Ibad Yum. All right, Ibad in Hebrew is servant. All right, it says, I have seen servants. On upon horses and princes walking as servants upon the earth. All right, of course, the princes are right, which Yasha Allah means he prince of power. They're the Israelites, okay? They're the princes that are walking as servants upon the earth, okay? It says, And he that diggeth the pit shall fall into it, and whoso breaketh an hedge, a serpent shall bite him. All right, in which the Lord ultimately is going to make things right when he judge. The Edomites, which are what in obviously rulership right now, all right, doing these various forms of horrors. There's going to be horrors that's going to be done to them, all right. Because this is going to be what you reap, what you what you sow, what you sow, you shall also reap. So they of course sold and and reap uh, iniquity. So they're going to get that 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 death, mawath, and slavery, servitude for what they've done and what they continue to do. So anyway, you know, I'm just going to close out Slocky if it was a bit long and drawn out, but that's what the spirit brought out. Spirit has the wind. It says inside the horrors of migrant detention centers. I mean, you see it packed like sardines, you know, unsanitary conditions, discard, discarded items. OK, you know, I'm per, of course, it's going to be rape. It's going to be done. They just not, of course, mention it in this article. But that I want to say, call Allah, Yimla, Yahweh, Shem, Shabbat, Shem, Kodesh, and Double Honor, Shalom to the elect, Shalom.